Welcome to the R Spot. I hope you've been enjoying our weekly episodes and that you've been able to apply some, if not all, of what we've been sharing or I've been sharing to improve your relationships. I believe that the more we understand about ourselves and the more diligent we become about doing our work to shift and change our perspective, the better our relationships will become. So with that in mind, I want to talk to you about something that can and often does create many challenges and difficulties in all types of relationship, and that's jealousy. Let's look at what it is and how we can address it in healthy, loving ways. So let me start here. In my previous life, <laughs> as an unenlightened person, I have done some pretty crazy jealousy-driven things that I could be ashamed of. I am here to tell you I have done things, okay? I'll spare you the details, but they were things that make me cringe when I think about them. Today, I think, oh yeah, I did do that. And no, I can't deny it or take it back. When I think about what the other person must be thinking about me, I, I really, I want to blame it on a hormonal imbalance caused by some overdose of birth control pills <laughs> or too much fried food. But that would be a falsity. I was unenlightened. So what I can say is that I have learned that all jealousy-driven behavior was motivated by my own internal securities, my lack of awareness of those insecurities, and my lack of control over them. Now, in my newly enlightened state of being, I can acknowledge and admit that my jealousy was the result of feeling inadequate and insecure. And those two feelings wore some pretty ugly masks. I'll also say that it took a lot of work and a little bit of magic <laughs> to remove those masks. So since confession is good for the soul, I just want to share what I've learned. Jealousy is a feeling or an emotion, which means it's an energy that motivates us to think and act in a particular way. And more often than not, jealousy is rooted in fear, the fear of loss, and the loss of love, which is the number one human fear. Now, jealousy often grows from and consists of a number of emotions, such as insecurity, as I've acknowledged, inadequacy, helplessness, anger, resentment, and often some sort of trauma. So when a person has a fear of losing something or someone they love, or when they feel insecure or inadequate within themselves, or when they've experienced abandonment or they have a fear of abandonment, the most common emotion that rises to the surface is jealousy. Now, unfortunately, most people who experience jealousy have no idea that it's their own thinking and feelings that's causing the jealousy that they feel. Instead, they believe it is something or someone else doing something to cause their discomfort. Now, there are three primary issues at the root of all jealousy. One is trust, the other is insecurity, and again, fear. When an individual does not trust themselves, they will not trust others, and that will always give rise to jealousy. Or when an individual doesn't know and believe in their own value and worth, they'll also experience jealousy or when they believe that they're in danger of losing something or losing someone that they want, that they need, that they love, they will fall into the trap of jealousy. Or when an individual compares themselves to someone or something they fear or believe that that thing and that person is better than they are, or when they feel someone is getting or taking or having something they want, that they don't believe they can have, they will experience being jealous. Now, jealousy can emerge in all types of relationships. And whether it emerges in a love ship or a relationship between siblings or simply how a person views themselves in relationship to others, jealousy can be very challenging, even dangerous. A jealous person can feel threatened and take extreme steps to protect themselves or the thing that they want. 
A jealous person is always looking for and frequently invents evidence to prove that the thing or the person that they want is being threatened or taken. Once jealousy is planted or rooted in the mind, a jealous person can and often does become desperate, controlling, hypervigilant, and perhaps threatening. And when a jealous person has convinced themselves that they are in danger of losing something or someone, jealousy not only ruins their peace, it can and probably will damage or end relationships. You see, jealousy is an internal experience. It is often difficult, if not impossible, to convince a jealous person that it's all in their mind. A jealous person is always looking for evidence that their belief in the thing that they feel is real. And no matter how hard you try to convince them, no matter what you do, they're going to continue to believe it's real. Jealous people can really be critical, have extreme dramatic mood swings, and often they can be quite mean and disparaging. They can also feel clingy and needy, and they will make all of their feelings about you or someone else. Now, jealousy can strike both men and women when there is a perceived threat to a valued relationship or a possession. It can also be a problem among siblings competing for parental attention or among professionals vying for the same role or position. But the thing to remember should you experience jealousy or encounter a jealous person is that it's about fear, trust, insecurity, and the inability to recognize your own value and worth. So to address it, you must be willing to do your own work. Now, let's look at it from both sides. If you know you are a jealous person, it's a signal to you that you need to make some changes in your mind and in your heart. Rather than letting jealousy infect your relationships with others, use it as a motivation to better understand yourself. More often than not, jealousy results from the destructive use of your imagination. You are imagining things that are going on when they're not going on, and you make others responsible for what you imagine. Nobody's responsible for what's going on in your mind. When jealousy comes up for you, when you feel it, or when you know you are being driven by it, you must ask yourself, what am I imagining right now? What am I afraid of right now? And then you must figure it out. When did this fear first begin? Because jealousy rarely begins in our adult life. It usually is attached to something we've experienced in childhood. You must take the time to ask yourself, Am I comparing myself to someone or something? And if so, why am I doing that? And how am I measuring up in my own mind? Comparing yourself to others and determining that you are less than or not as good as will always lead to jealousy. Now, if you are a jealous person, you must figure out why. What do they have that you want? What do they do that you believe you can't do? And if you are experiencing jealousy at this level, there may be some insecurity or feeling of inadequacy that you need to uncover and address. If you are jealous of what someone has or what they can do, you must get clear about what you want and go for that. And if you're jealous because someone has something you want or if they get something that you don't get, let's say someone you care about, then you must learn to ask for what you want and be willing to hear a no. If and when you do hear a no, it's up to you to figure out how to give that thing to yourself, whether it's love or money or attention, you have the right and the power to take care of yourself, to provide for your own needs and to create what you desire. It all begins with knowing and believing in your own value and worth. There's a wonderful song that says, what God has for me, it is for me. So it's okay to want something or anything. 
It is not okay to believe that because someone else has it, you are somehow being denied. Your blessings have your name on them, which means no one else can have them. So learn to question your jealousy every time it emerges. Now, when it comes to love ships or intimate relationships, being jealous is not attractive. <laughs> Nor is it going to keep a person from feeling or doing what they choose to do. When jealousy enters an intimate relationship, it is absolutely essential to address the underlying fear of loss, the fear of abandonment, the inadequacy that the jealous person may be experiencing. My strong recommendation is to get outside support in the form of counseling or therapy. Because my experience is that when jealousy shows up in an intimate relationship, it has nothing to do with the other person and almost always has something to do with trust. Trust that has been broken or trust that never really existed in the first place. Now you may say, well, he or she has cheated before or they've lied or I know they can't be trusted. They've proven that they can't be trusted. Well, beloved, if that's your case, the issue cannot be healed by simply being jealous. You must get clear about why you're still in a relationship and what it is that you really desire. Now, on the other side, if you're dealing with the jealousy of others, here's what you got to do. Draw clear boundaries and protect yourself. Notice I said protect yourself, not defend yourself. It is almost impossible to defend yourself against a jealous person because the problem is in their mind. As a result, they will always have some evidence to convict you. Protect yourself by having a witness to what you say and do. Protect yourself by knowing that what other people think of you is none of your business. Protect yourself with clear boundaries about what you will and will not engage, accept, tolerate, or accommodate. Protect yourself by not playing games by not antagonizing the jealous person. Because people will do that just to make someone jealous. They'll say something or do something just to antagonize the person. And that is not gonna turn out well for you. Clear, clean, complete communication is the best way to address jealousy. And as with any conversation in which your ultimate goal is to help someone see things differently, you have to stay calm and use logic. Use your inside voice because it will support the other person in using theirs. You must address them rather than dismiss them. Remember, jealousy is often rooted in fear and insecurity. And there are only two things that can heal fear and insecurity, confidence and love. Remind them that you love them and be compassionate about it so that they'll have confidence. Finally, I'm very clear that there are some situations where none of this will work. These are the situation where the person's jealousy has rendered them dangerous. And whether it's an ex or a frenemy or a sibling, there are times when you simply must distance and protect yourself. Now, if you've tried at least three times to calm the fears and the person keeps acting crazy, you may have to call a spade a spade. Recognize that you're dealing with a jealous freak who is not ready to recover, and it might not be worth the drama. So just cut your losses and move on. Jealousy is more than a green-eyed monster. It's something that can be dealt with and healed, whether you're the jealous person or dealing with a jealous person. So I hope this helps, and I'll see you next time.